Hey guys, what is going on? We're here in Barcelona. It is the day after we just got off the Symphony of the Seas. We're here with Go Car Barcelona. We're going to explore the city by GPS in a little yellow go kart. It's a little yellow go kart. This thing is, I've never done this before. This is going to be so cool. We have like this tiny little go kart thing, a little two seater, and we get to just go drive around the city, and the GPS takes you to all the destinations. We'll still get lost. We're still going to get lost. All right, let's do this. <laughs> So essentially this guided tour is all based off GPS and the, the go-kart will take you all over the city and get to show you all the cool stuff and it's all through the GPS. It'll just talk to you. It's pretty wild. So these are the different routes that we're thinking of taking throughout the city. I don't know, we could do one, two, or all three at the same time. Figure out, we're just gonna just see where this takes us. That little go-kart thing is kind of nuts. It's like you're on the main streets and there's buses and cars and everything whizzing by you. Whew, it's a, it's a lot, but kind of fun to do. So we're at one of the first stops, which is something really cool looking. All right, let's check it out. So they've been working on this church for over a hundred years and it's basically gone through a bunch of different architects. That's why the style is all different. They're hoping to have it done by the 125th anniversary, but we will see if that happens. Whenever you go to spots like this, there is always a giant line of people waiting to take the same photo. So you just gotta wait your turn. We get to sit there and just wait. But I think we finally got it. And to differentiate yourself from everyone else, don't just take a selfie because as Jordan, as Mr. Jordan Hammond would say, make sure there is a little person in the shot. Little people, big world. That's what it's all about. There hey, Natalie's two. here, by the way. No, hey, what's up? <laughs> there are, I, I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but there are some corners in here because there have been a couple of different architects, but the first architect was Gaudi, and he's known for not having any corners on his architecture. So if you look at the building, it's like a mixture of a couple of different styles, and one of them is like zero corners, a bunch of circles, and zero corners. Huh. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a church that looks like this. It's no. so unique. Tours by Natalie. Tours by Natalie. <laughs> I charge a fee. And one more tip when you are finding a location like this where it's super busy, kind of crazy, there's just people everywhere, go around it, look for some different spots, some different perspectives. Back here in these trees, there's some really cool patterns on the ground with the shadows. So I tried to foreground that, put Rachel in there, and then get the epic view in the background. You got to think of different ways to get your shots where it's not always the same shot from the front where it's just, you know, the church with the sky. It's kind of boring. So find ways to get like foreground elements, people in there, and find something that not everyone else is shooting. Note to self, drop a pin next time we walk away from these things because we've been wandering in circles. We are going back in a little cart, figuring out the next spot to go to. I'm not quite sure where. And we gotta go in this traffic. All right, so we're done with the go-karts. Those are fun, right? So fun. So much fun. It's a great way to see the city. And you know, we now we get an understanding of what the city is actually like. So we're gonna explore it by foot. It's really hard to park and like jump on and off. Like it was cool to see. Definitely though, you gotta explore a city like this by foot. So we are gonna go to the Gothic district and we're gonna go look for some delicious food, maybe some wine. What you do when you're in Spain, you get delicious tapas and all that good stuff.
So the rest of last night was spent just going from tapas bar to tapas bar and getting some drinks and food and this and that. And we basically went, we tapa hopped, tapa hopped. I think that's a thing, right? It seems like a thing here. You basically go to all these different restaurants and you just get a little bit of food here and there. And it seems like every place that we stopped had good food. Like no matter where we went in the city, we got like some Vietnamese food, we got some Spanish food. We got a mix of a lot of different culinary styles and it was just awesome. So put down the camera and enjoy that for a bit. Today, it's not the best weather, but we, uh, we're gonna continue to explore. We were planning to hit a lot of sites yesterday, but like I said, we ended up just doing the top of Today, we're gonna try to hit a few more spots because this is our last day here in Barcelona before we jump on a plane and head home. All right, let's go start exploring. gondola going up to Mount Juk and we actually walked all the way from wow. the church the out church. there. Wow. It was really far away. Oh, so nice. we walked a long ways. Definitely the way to do Barcelona is on foot. It is an yeah, awesome city to walk. More? Why do we always stop at the highest point? I don't know. We always stop at the highest point. Okay, we got to the top of the mountain and there's a big castle up here. So we're gonna go wander through the castle. What is, what's the history behind this, Rachel? Don't put me on the spot. All right, so it was a total of eight euros to get in. What was it, five for you and three for me? Because I'm 29 and under? Yeah, rub it in. That's, a, that's an odd number to cut off at. Wow, there's some massive guns up here. This thing's huge and it has like a 360 view of everywhere around Barcelona. Pretty amazing. It's, I wish it was sunny because it would be a much better day, but Dragon, it is what it is. excited to see something. <laughs> Where are we going now? Inside the castle. Well, that was cool to see. I'm definitely glad we came up here, did the long hike up. It has an awesome viewpoint. We couldn't go in the fortress or whatever that was but uh, there's some guided tours, so if that is something you'd like to do, I guess you can do that. We, uh, we didn't really figure out how you did that, though. Okay, now we're gonna head towards the beach. That's one area we have not really seen much aperitif. of. She wants an aperitif, which is a delicious beverage here in Remove this part of the world. And, uh, and I don't know, the sun is finally starting to come out. It's been pouring rain, but it is what it is. We're just like walking through some park that we found. It's a cool city, definitely a cool city. A lot different than my initial impression when we first came in on the first day. Definitely has like a different vibe. One thing I would suggest is do this like on your first day if you ever come to Barcelona, come see the city from above and also take one of those go-karts around just so you can get the lay of the land because it's taken us a few days to figure out where everything is and now- go car. Oh, go car. Yeah, do a couple things to get the lay of the land. Big poop. Now that we get the gist of where everything is, I think, uh-oh, uh there's a lot of graffiti in the city. I don't know what I was saying. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're getting uh, tapas for Pixto. It's called Pixto, right? Pincho. Pincho. Essentially, you go in and they just have a ton of options spread out among Yummy the bar. Essentially, just grab it 
and at the end they charge you based on the amount of sticks you have by the end of it. All right, we finally made it down to the beach. Well, almost, we're working our way towards the beach. We're in like the marina area. I feel like we've just done like a loop around the entire city over the last 48 hours. Rachel's yacht's right there. It's a nice one. But definitely this is a city that is super duper walk. Like you could basically walk everywhere that you want to go. If you have the right shoes. So I highly suggest if you're coming to What's Barcelona that, that you walk, ship. you move. That's someone's boat. These boats are, that's are these ships or are these boats? We were on a ship earlier this week in the Symphony of the Seas. What is this? Rich these are living. these are ridiculous. You gotta check these out. Wait, Burger Fi? What's Burger Fi? I don't know. That belongs to the chairman of Burger Fi. Burger Fi? That's like a burger joint. So Rachel's looking up the price of all these yachts right here. And uh, you can just do a quick web search and you can actually find that. We do it all the time when we're traveling because we're always curious. All right, we're leaving the beach. That was it's cool to see. La Playa. I'm, La Playa. It's probably insane during the summer. We are headed back towards the Gothic district. I've been so walking all day. We have walked nine miles. How hilarious would a shot with that be? <laughs> if you trip and you fall and you pop back up and you're missing out your teeth. Hit yes, thumbs up if you think that'd be a great shot. Be a great shot. You don't think it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> Except I'd be missing teeth. <laughs> One piece of travel photography advice is look for reflections, reflections on water, reflections on buildings. Like you find some of the coolest shots when you use a reflection in a way that like reflects what's going on. Rachel just noticed the palm tree at the end of the alleyway. Oh yeah. I get and uh, she definitely gets credit for that one because she noticed the shot and then there's some cool reflections there. I have to buy her wine because of it but she's noticed that the palm tree was perfectly centered in the alleyway. And of course it rained today, so we had an amazing puddle. Awesome reflections. You almost like dipped your little booty in it. I know, I got a little wet like, trying to get it. Yeah, I, wish I you took had... a photo. Did you? Oh, I need that photo. Perfect squat. Uh, Cheers. Legit. One of the best Airbnbs we've ever stayed at. We are about 20 minutes outside of the Gothic district. We are right now on our terrace looking at the Basilica. Picasso Suites, perfect area. There's a gym right outside. There's a bank. There's a liquor store for water. It's right next to the biggest grocery store I've seen in the whole entire, right next to. Advertisement. That's Advertisement. All right, guys, that is it for our 48 hours in Barcelona. We'll leave the link below as you can to see, our Airbnb. Rachel, as Rachel just said, we'll leave the link below to the Airbnb. And we'll Legit. also oh, put yeah, some ideas like of what you guys should you do. On That's it, guys. We had 48 hours. We did as much as we could in the city. It was mostly just eating tapas and Pink picto, pincho, however you say that. Other than that, you got to walk the city. There's a lot to explore. We're definitely going to be back. This is an awesome city. It's a place you should put high up on your list. 
And guys, that is it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't know where we're traveling next, but it's going to be somewhere fun. All right. We're in New York. Oh, we're going to New York. Great. All right. That's our next trip. We'll see you on the next one.